Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on transformation and matrices. Uh, this is an IGCSC um, specimen paper at higher tier, that is. Uh, it should be okay for 10th grade mathematics and for CXC maths. Now, here, 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 here's the uh, first question and the triangles involved. You say, describe fully the triangle, the single transformation which maps triangle A on onto triangle C, and the next one says uh, triangle C onto triangle D, yes, okay, and next one says triangle D onto triangle E, and the other one says triangle B onto triangle A, and then B, section B says, uh, find the matrix representing the uh, transformation with maps triangle A onto triangle C, and the next one is uh, find the matrix representing the transformation which maps triangle B onto triangle A there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on, um, let us get this here, I'm going to take on uh, this one here, A sub 1 and B sub 1 together. And then I'm going to do B, sorry, A sub 4 and B sub 2 there. If that makes sense. Okay, now this is the first of the uh, of the questions. Uh, it says uh, describe fully the single the, the single transformation which maps triangle A onto triangle C. Now, one thing to notice here is that uh, triangle A, which is the object, and triangle C, which is the image, are similar and congruent, so they got the same area. And the same shape. Now, next, I'm going to uh, join the equivalent points on each triangle. So, this will be the line joining from joining from uh, the, the the vertices containing the 90 degrees. Okay. And similarly, for the next set of vertices, we've got that there, and for the third set of vertices, we've got that there. Now, one thing you notice here is that for all these lines, the x-axis is the perpendicular bisector. Okay. Then it seems to me that what you've got here is a transformation by reflection with the x-axis, sorry, transformation by reflection about the x-axis. Right. Now the next question, section B1, uh, and it says, find the matrix representing the transformation which maps triangle A onto triangle C. Now, because this is reflection about the, about the x-axis, our identity matrix will change from 1, 0, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Then. Now, that being the case, because it's, because it's reflected about the x-axis, and this being the, the, the uh, transformation matrix, the x-axis of the object and the x-axis, sorry, the x-coordinates of the object and the x-coordinates of the image will be the same. For instance, if we multiply this matrix by the coordinates of the, or with the coordinates of the uh, vertices of the object A uh, this time, which is this one here, if we do 1 times minus 6, we get minus 6, 0 times 6, we give us zero. Minus six plus zero will give us minus six. One times minus three will give us minus three. And zero times six will give us zero. Minus three plus zero will give us minus three. One times minus six will give us minus six. Zero times three will give us zero. So minus six plus zero will give us minus six. And we end up with this here. So all these S coordinates are the same as the S coordinates in the object. So these are all the same there. But the Y coordinates do change. Okay, so that's what you get there. So one zero zero minus one is the transformation matrix for reflection about the X axis. Now for this slide, we're asked to uh, find the transformation that maps triangle C onto triangle D. 
Now, you note here that uh, triangle C is similar to uh, triangle D, but, but they are not congruent. So there seems to me that it, it seem to us that there's just some sort of enlargement between triangle C to triangle D. Okay. You will also note that uh, the area of triangle C is four and a half centimeters squared, whereas the area of triangle D is a half centimeter squared. So triangle D is the image and triangle C is the object. If you divide the area of the image by the area of the object, which is a half divided by four and a half, you get uh, one over nine. Okay, so the area scale factor in the transformation of C to D, the area scale factor is one over nine, which then means that the linear scale factor will then be the square root of one over nine, and that will give us uh, one over three. So, we've enlarged triangle C to triangle D by, an, by a linear scale factor of 1 over 3. We now need to find the center, of, the center of enlargement. So, if we now join the equivalent uh, points from C to D, as we got there, we find that uh, the lines meet at the point uh, C, sorry, 6, 6. So the coordinate of the center of enlargement is 6, 6. So our answer would then be that C has been transformed to D by enlargement, scale factor 1 over 3, and center of enlargement 6, 6. I hope that makes sense. Now, next here's slide. the next question. Now, as I did in the previous three slides, I'm going to join the, um, the equivalent points for triangle D, which is the object, and triangle E, which is the image. I'm going to join the equivalent points. So I've got the, I've got the line, the red line there. Now, note that for this uh, red line, the, um, the perpendicular bisector for this red line is the line y is equal to minus 1, this line here. And the perpendicular bisector for the red line and the red line meets at the point 3 minus 1. Now I'm going to join the other two uh, equivalent points now. The blue line joins the 90 degree uh, points, and the next line will be this one. So I've got line joining all three vertices now. Now it seems to me that the perpendicular bisector of both the green and the blue lines uh, is. They've got, the same, they've got the same perpendicular bisector as, as it were. Okay? So that, the purple line is the perpendicular bisector of the green line and also the perpendicular bisector of the blue line. So the perpendicular bisector of the red line, the blue line, and the green line all meet at the point 3 minus 1. So now, our result is that the, the, the transformation that, that maps triangle D onto triangle E is rotation 180 degrees, it doesn't matter if it's clockwise or anticlockwise, with, with the center of rotation at the point 3 minus 1. Now, this is the, uh, the, the last slide you'd be glad to know. And, uh, this time round, we're supposed to find we're supposed to find the, um, the the transformation that maps triangle B onto triangle A, and we in effect looking at this one here, B, which is the object, okay, and A, which is the image here, yeah. okay. Now, note here that uh, triangles A and B are neither similar nor congruent. So the transformation cannot be reflection, nor rotation, nor shear, nor enlargement. So the only alternative we've got is, is transformation by stretch, according to the syllabus. Okay, so um, 
If we look at the area of A, the area of A is 4.5 centimeters squared, and the area for B is uh, 1.5 centimeters squared. Now, which means that uh, A is three times larger than uh, B. So the search factor is three. Now, what about invariant line? If we join, okay, right, if we join the points uh, from, if you look at the red arrow, that's the equivalent, that's the point on the object B. The equivalent point on the, on the object A is this one here. Now, if you measure the perpendicular distance, from the x-axis to this point on B and compared with the perpendicular distance from the x-axis to this point on A, the ratio is 3 to 1, so that's 3 times longer. Similarly, if you look at the perpendicular, if you look at the perpendicular point from the x-axis to this point there with the blue arrow, and the equivalent point on the image, again with the blue arrow, we're looking at the distance of six to two. And again, the ratio is three. So that's, that's longer, three times. Okay. Uh, similarly for the third uh, vert vert vertices, okay, we having a, a distance of from the from the x-axis to B is two, and from the x-axis to A is six. Six to two or three to one. So that's three times larger. So then this is a clear case of uh, transformation by stretch with the x-axis being the invariant line with a stretch factor of three. Now that being the case, to find the matrix, representing this transformation from uh, triangle B to triangle A, the stretch factor is three. The, uh, the identity matrix will change from one zero zero one to one zero zero three there. So that is the uh, that is the matrix that represents the transformation from triangle B to triangle A. Now to check, if you multiply this uh, matrix, by the, the coordinates of the vertices on triangle B, which is the object, okay, you find that the x values of the coordinates of the object, sorry, of the image, will be the same as the x axis, uh, will be the same as the x coordinates of the vertices on the image. And that's what you got there. Okay. Now the x coordinates remain the same, while the y coordinates do change. So this is the answer: one zero zero three. I hope all that made some sense. Thank you for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe. Hopefully, we we'll see you again sometime. Bye bye now.